you, Chair, and thank you, uh, Ms. Hogan, for being with us. I want to focus my questions on the Investing in Canada plan um, and, and one of its themes, which is green infrastructure, a timely theme given the devastation that has been experienced by Canadians in the Maritimes. Scientists have said that this kind of, of, of devastation may in fact be visited more often because storms that would normally dissipate over the Atlantic Ocean will no longer do so, and, and we may see more of that. Uh, has climate mitigation featured in the investment in the Investing in Canada plan? And if so, what did your audit disclose? So one of the objectives of the Investing in Canada plan is to transition to a clean growth economy. Um, but what our audit found was that there is inconsistent reporting and measuring on the achievement of those objectives. So in one year, they would uh, Infrastructure Canada would report on some um, metrics, but then in the next year, they would change those. So it was really impossible to see whether there was progress being made against some of the objectives because of the inconsistent reporting over, over the years. Uh, so we weren't able to conclude on whether any of those projects in, that we looked at or if the department was even able to demonstrate that they were on track to meet the objectives that they set out to meet here. As far mm -hmm. as you know, Ms. Hogan, were any of the projects that were on the books mm -hmm. or, or, or invested in, did they deal with climate mitigation mm -hmm. specifically as opposed to green infrastructure? So I am going to ask um, Andrew to join in here. I guess before he does that, I, I do want to mention that the Commissioner of the Environment and Sustainable Development actually put out a report on um, lessons learned from climate change. And one of them was about the, the lack of really climate resistant pro projects. But I'll see if Andrew wants to add a little bit more. Thank you. Yes. So phase one spending, um, phase one components did include mitigation. Um, now, the that funding was announced in budget 2016. It involved $14.4 billion, but one of the findings that we had in the report was that there was delays in spending that money. I can't break that down to whether they were for mitigation projects or not, but it was included in phase one. Thank you. Do I have time? Uh, Ms. Hogan, uh, you appeared before the Senate Social Affairs Committee in our, uh, in our study on GBA plus analysis. So I want to, and you yourself said, very eloquently, I, I think, that you want to focus your work in going after those who are forgotten, who are not in the main mainstream. So I want to probe whether your office uh, did a GBA plus analysis in its audit of the ICT, and if so, what did you find? So my commitment to um, doing looking at GBA plus in every audit uh, started very soon after I had been appointed. The Investing in Canada plan came from a motion before I was Auditor General. I just had the, um, the privilege of presenting the results. So that audit was well underway and, and did not look at any GBA plus angle, um, but it is a commitment that we have going forward. You are correct. So does that mean the next time you do an audit, and I don't know when that will be on the ICT, a GBA plus lens will be applied to it? Yes, our commitment is to have that lens in any any and all of our performance audits and special examinations. Thank you, Senator. Um, 